Okay, now I'm going to give you four exercises that you can do before or after practice um, at home if you're a softball pitcher and need to improve your drive through mechanics and specifically if you need to um, prevent that premature toe out um, as you push away from the rubber. Okay, uh, now all, of, all four of these exercises will improve your capacity regardless if you're again um, one of those like stance phase turnout athletes or, or um, uh, propulsive phase turnout athletes. You don't, you need to, you can disregard uh, what category you're in. You should be doing these exercises anyways. Um, they're going to improve uh, strength and flexibility and control in your body uh, regardless of where your, your technical deficiency occurs. Uh, the order moves from the ground up just for practicality. Uh, and again, they're going to address the flexibility and strength of all of the involved joints that we just talked about. Okay? The first exercise is a single leg hip bridge in which we're targeting okay, the glutes or the back of the hip, the butt muscles, which are going to be important for those stability athletes and for your propulsive athletes who need to get and exhaust more horsepower out of the legs. Okay, I'm working here on extending my hips, pushing through my heel, driving my thigh up to the ceiling while keeping this knee pulled in toward my chest. Driving the hip up, you should feel a squeeze in the glute and the hamstring, okay, and down. Pop the hip up, focus on driving this thigh up, not the belly, get the thigh up, and down. Pop the hip up, hold, and down. You want to do at least 10 on each leg, you can do two to three, one to three sets. Um, if you'd like, depending on your level. If, if I leave something out regarding sets or reps or how often you should be doing these, you know, leave a comment below the video and I'll clarify. The next exercise is what I call um, a yoga push-up with a calf stretch. This isn't only a great calf stretch, but it's also a really safe um, shoulder strengthening and stability exercise. Uh, maybe the one of the safest and universal exercises that you can use. Uh, to warm up the shoulders into an, and warm up the muscles that, the, that support the shoulder moving into an overhead position. Um, again, you're going to get that benefit as well as the calf stretch. Okay? Uh, also, one thing to appreciate in this position is when I'm in a push-up position, uh, it's, it's nothing more than a plank. Um, it's, exact, it's a core stability exercise um, just with my arms extended. So all the planks that I've, I've, I'll feature in videos, okay, you get the same benefit in a push-up position as you do in those isolated core exercises. Now we're integrating a, bunch, a few other things, um, including the shoulder stability, shoulder strengthening, uh, and the calf stretch, okay. Again, this is going to be for the athletes who have a hard time standing on one leg because they have a restricted ankle. Um, so, in a push-up position, you're going to cross one leg over the other. From here, you're going to push your butt up into the air driving the back heel to the ground, getting a stretch throughout the back heel cord, okay? and then back into a push-up position. Again, don't let your athlete sink and lose stability through the core. Maintain a good plank alignment. From here, drive your hips up, drive the heel down, feel a big stretch in the calf, and then back over into push-up position. Start in push-up position, drive your hips up, drive the heel down, and then back over your hands. Okay. The next exercise requires some, some coordination, and I can tell you this, is that if you're observing your athletes at full speed and game speed all the time, they look like they get away with some amazing things. Okay, but when you slow them down, they look pretty awkward um, and uncoordinated. All right, you, most of your athletes who start um, doing these types of exercises are going to look, look a lot weaker than you ever anticipated. Okay. Uh, bear with these exercises, stick with them, they will get better and they will translate to improved um, technical mechanics. This exercise is, is a reverse lunge to a single leg balance. Right? So uh, I'm going to demonstrate on what would be my drive through leg, right, keeping this leg forward. I'm going to step back with my left leg. Now here I want good hip, knee, ankle alignment. I don't want the knee to collapse in. Right? Keep good stability of that leg. Right, progress up into a single leg stance. Okay, from the side view, I should be getting full extension. This is going to help my propulsion off the mount. It's going to help the coordination and activate my glutes, my hip muscles, my, and my quads. You get full extension at the hip. And take a big step back, sink, <coughs> maintaining good posture in the upper body, good alignment of the lower body, and then 
finish into this single leg stance and complete extension through the hips. So we have the single leg hip bridge, the yoga push up with a calf stretch, and then the reverse lunge into a single leg balance. The last exercise, and this is it, is called a posture wall drive. And this is the exercise that really connects well with my softball pitchers. And I'm run out of battery, so I have to be pretty quick here um, in my demonstration and explanation. But I, see, I think you'll see um, the resemblance to the mechanics that we're really trying to improve. You need to get pretty close to a wall in an athletic stance. Your heels want to be on the ground, and that's going to exhaust ankle flexibility. That's going to work on if your ankles, work on your ankles if they're tight, all right, in this position. From here, you're going to balance on one leg. So now we're working on single leg stance stability. Okay, you want to correct your athletes and make sure they have their hip, knee, and foot in a good position. From here, we're going to propel ourselves up into the wall, exhausting extension through our hip, our knee, and our ankle. From here, we're going to crawl back into, okay, that single leg stance balancing on the wall, Hold, okay, stretch the hip, stretch the calf, keep that heel down, and then phew, propel ourselves into the wall. Push up, pushing all the way through the toes, squeezing the glute just like we did in the hip extension, okay, and back down into our single leg stance. Drive and propel ourselves up into the wall, and then crawl back down and balance. You can see that's, that's probably working on all the capacities that I just reviewed um, in the previous segment. Okay. Uh, five to ten of those per leg, one to three times before you pitch, after you pitch, I think is going to be um, sufficient enough to see some improvements um, in your technical skill acquisition, okay, with just a few um, strengthening exercises.